everybody, Joy here. It is Thursday, January 16, 2019. How did you ladies sleep last night? <sighs> While you were asleep, I was wide, wide, wide awake. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. I got up like 10 times. <sighs> I don't know what it is. Anytime something I'm a very routine person, very scheduled routine person. And anytime something out of the ordinary happens or something's going to happen that I have to fit in that doesn't usually happen, I can't get it off my mind. <laughs> Our dishwasher broke. And so I had to go to Lowe's, pick out a new dishwasher. They told me they would deliver it today. Then they called me and they told me they would deliver it Monday. Then I had a fit and said, I've been without a dishwasher for 10 days and you promised it would be here Thursday. So then they said, well, okay, we'll deliver it Friday. <laughs> but the worst part is my home warranty. Do you guys have a home warranty? If you have a home warranty and you like it, will you please tell me who it's with? Our home warranty is with Choice Home Warranty. It is the worst, most horrible, most awful company. They never pay for anything. My dishwasher broke. I paid them all this money for this warranty. I called them up. They sent somebody out to fix it. The guy said, oh, they're not going to fix it. They're going to buy you a new dishwasher. I'm like, oh, yay. Guess how much money they offered me to buy a new dishwasher? $179. $179. I thought, you people have got to be kidding. They must be wanting me to haul the garden hose in here and wash the dishes with it. I cannot imagine they think I can buy a dishwasher for $179. I did. I got on there. I googled cheapest dishwasher in the world. <laughs> I went to Lowe's. I scrolled down, 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 down. The $1,200, $1,000, $900, $800, $700, $600, $500. I found a $500 GE on sale for 25% off. I thought, okay, good. Surely they'll pay for that because the one I have is a GE. So I tell them I want to talk to a supervisor. So they say, oh, yes, we'll just be so thrilled. Somebody will call you within 24 hours. I mean, it's already been broken for like six days, no dishwasher. So finally, this lady contacts me. I get to talk to her. I say, there's no way on earth I can buy a dishwasher for $179. This is absurd. I gave you people thousands of dollars, and you're going to give me $179 for a dishwasher. She said, well, we looked it up, and that's what we can buy a dishwasher for. I said, well, I'll tell you what, ma'am. Would you please just order that dishwasher for me and have it sent to my house? Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. I said, well, then, okay, tell me where you can buy a dishwasher for $179 so I can call and order one. Oh, we can't do that, ma'am. We can't do that. Oh, I'm telling you, it just makes my blood boil. <laughs> I get so mad when people don't treat you right. And it's not that I can't afford to buy the best dishwasher there is. That isn't the issue. The issue is not every granny who's retired can afford to buy a dishwasher. A lot of elderly people live by themselves. They're on a fixed income. They get sold this home warranty, told, oh, you need this, we'll fix everything if it breaks. They told us they'd fix all of our air conditioners, our refrigerators, our appliances, our microwaves, everything. Our hot water heaters. Our hot water heater broke. They refused to fix it because it had a hole in it, and they don't cover holes. Our air conditioner broke. They refused to fix it because it had rust in the pipe. And so they don't fix air conditioners if there's rust in the pipe. Every time something breaks, they come up with an excuse you're not going to pay for it. It is so frustrating. Plus, whoever's fixing something has to get them on the phone. I have literally had the repair people sit on my patio for an hour waiting for someone to come to the phone so they could talk to them and tell them what was broken and how much it was going to be to fix it. We had another person come to work on an air conditioner one time. And I wasn't there. And I told my husband, I said, Choice Home Warranty isn't going to pay for this unless that repairman calls them and tells them what's wrong with it. So Jerry told the guy. He said, hey, you need to call this number and get permission to fix it, blah, blah, blah. The guy refused to do it. So I called the guy's boss. And the guy's boss said, we don't have time to make phone calls for you. So they refused to pay one penny for that repair also. It was like a $1,300 repair. They refused to pay for it. 
So people, and let me tell you something else. I had two friends, Terry and, a, and another lady, tell me that these choice, these home warranties were wonderful and I should get one, right? <laughs> so I looked up home warranties and the number one that came up was Choice Home Warranty with five star reviews. Well, let me tell you why they have five star reviews. They have five star reviews because people like me leave reviews saying how upset we are with them and how they don't pay for anything, but they don't show those. They only show the good ones. They don't show the bad ones. I'm telling you, there ought to be a law against it. Anyway, let me tell you something about the pants while I'm here complaining about Choice Home Warranty, okay? I got mine cut out last night. I've got one leg made. One leg made. See? Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you can take this one leg and pull it up on your body, and it will tell you whether you're going to like it or hate it, whether there's issues or there are not issues. But let me tell you a little secret. Make your pants out of some kind of twill or denim that has some stretch. You need the stretch because it is really going to help with the fit. If it's just a little snug somewhere, that little bit of stretch is amazing. Let me show you how little bit of stretch this has. This is like a denim or a twill, and it barely, barely stretches. See? Just a little bit. That much. Just a little bit. It's probably got like 3% spandex in it. But... Oh my goodness, does it make up a nice pair of pants. So if you can order some fabric that has a little bit of stretch, I think you will really, really, really be pleased with the result of your pants. Now this first pair of pants is just for me, so I can make sure I actually remember how to make a pair, and then I'll make another pair uh, with you guys, okay, when this challenge starts. All right, so I just wanted to tell you, buy something nice with a little bit of stretch. If Joann's doesn't have it, but I think they do have some. But if they don't, I think I bought some from a place called Denver Fabrics a few years ago. And they had some stretch denim. So, and of course I love colors. You know I love colors. <laughs> so, and guess what? I told you I just bought some pants from Walmart the other day. And I really like the leg on them. So I went and I measured the back leg at the bottom and the front leg at the bottom. And this pattern of SureFit Designs is the exact same measurements. So I was really excited about that. Okay, you can see there about how narrow it is. Let me hold it up away from the waist. See, that's the bottom of the leg right there. So, I think you're going to really enjoy your pants when you get them done. Now this pair of pants is not going to have a zipper in it. These are going to be pull-up pants, but they're going to be flat waistband from the side waist to the side waist in the front. It's just going to be flat, no elastic. It's just going to have uh, interfacing in it. And then the back from the side waist to the side waist will have some elastic in it. And the reason I want to try that method is because I have a very sway back, very sway back. And when I make pants, the back of the waistband area, it just sticks out. I mean, you can just put your hand down right down in there, <laughs> zipper up and everything, it just gapes or gaps, gape, gap, and so I always have to figure out some trick to pull that waistband back in, so I'm thinking if I put the elastic back there, that's going to solve that problem, okay, sorry for my rant, but I'm so mad at Choice Home Warranty, I told that lady, I said, I'm going to tell 16,000 people what I think of your company, and I said, you can look at my YouTube channel, and you can listen to it. This is an insert. I just received something from Amazon. I wanted to show it to you real fast. This is a happy post now. <laughs> this is a different brand of pattern paper. The one that I told you about is called Pattern Ease. It's pretty expensive. This one is not, and I left a link to this one too, and I'll put a link below. But I got this from Amazon, and it is called Easy Pattern by Pellon. Pellon. Easy Pattern. 
It's called, the number on it's 830, and it says you can wash it. Machine wash cold, delicate cycle and dry heat, 70% polyester, 30% viscose. I believe this is the one Peggy, that um, Becky got. But it feels to me just like the other one that's quite a bit more expensive. And you can put it on and try things on with it. So, if you'd like to try this stuff, I have a bolt of it here. First time I've used it, but it feels like a really nice product and cheaper than the pattern ease and i'm out of pattern ease so i'm glad it came today <laughs> and i wanted to tell you i've been searching for stretch denim and joanne fabrics actually has quite a few of them they're 30 percent off today there was two of them i found that i really liked and i was just going to order them but when i put them in my basket and i went to pay for them it said no shipping on this no shipping on this so i just said forget it <laughs> deleted my basket but Joanne Fabrics does have some stretch downs. Remember, it just has to be a little bit of stretch. This is not leggings, but it will make your pants so much more comfortable. And you can see that mine has pressed really nice. I put a crease in mine because I like my pants creased. Well, some pants creased, okay? <laughs> I don't crease my jeans. I don't crease my leggings. I don't crease my knits. Let's talk about the waistband for a second. When you're making your pants out of a stretch fabric, and this is just a little bit of stretch, remember, just a little bit of stretch, denim with a little bit of stretch in it. When you're putting elastic in your waist, your waistband has to be able to come up over your hips because there's no zipper. It has to be able to come up over your hips. So, the instructions tell you to make the waistband at least as big as your hips are, right? Well, if you have stretch fabric, you don't have to do that because it stretches over your hips. And that is another thing you really would love having stretch fabric for because if your waist is quite a bit different than your hips, you're just going to have tons and tons of gathers with that elastic in there. Now, my waist isn't that different from my hips anymore, sad to say. <laughs> my waist is 37. My hips are 42. Okay? So I started out making my waistband 42 inches plus a seam allowance so it could come up over my hips. So then I sewed it together and I just pulled it up on me. I just stuck my legs in it, pulled up on me like it was a pair of pants. It was gigantic. So then I took it, I just held it around my waist and I pinched it where it felt comfortable. Then I made sure I could get it down over my hips so it can come up over my hips and down over my hips. But now instead of being 42 inches, it's only 38 inches, okay? So there won't be near as much elastic in it. I could probably even make it 37, but I like to be safe. I like to be safe. You don't know if when you wash it, it's going to shrink a little bit more. And it doesn't stretch much, you guys, just a little bit. But 38 to 42, I don't know why, but I'll show you. See? See, see, see? It comes up easily. And I have it at 19. I could wear it for a mini bra. See? My boobs are 42. Look. Same as my hips. And it's very comfortable. So... Of course, it's too big for my waist, but when I put the elastic in it, it'll suck up all this fullness, and it will fit me perfect. How nice is that? It's so exciting. So, make a waistband and play with it. I actually didn't have enough fabric to cut it um, the full length that I needed, so I had to put a seam in it. So, I'm going to make the seam that I put in it center front, and then the other seam will be center back. All right? So... This is how much extra I had left over. <laughs> very nice, very nice. If this didn't stretch, oh, it would be, it would not turn out as nice. It would just have too much fabric and too much fullness from the elastic in the waistband. Okay, end of this insert. Bye for now.